Good morning. There's a look from our Unico U.S. Bank Ford Tower overlooking downtown Portland. Welcome to AM Northwest on this 4th of July. Thank you so much for joining us. Now, our first guest is here to share a sweet treat that you can make this holiday weekend. Here to share her recipe for chocolate caramel brownies, we welcome back K2's own Angelica Thorne. Yay! Hello! My Greek Happy Fourth of July! Happy Fourth of July, my Greek sister from another mister. Tell I'm, me about this. I'm Tell me about this. So I don't want this caramel to melt. Okay, okay. so I got this recipe years ago from my mother in law. Oh, nice. And it's special because she only gives these recipes when you marry one of her children. <laughs> <laughs> she has a huge recipe book that she puts Are you together serious? in a photo album, yeah. and it's recipes dating back decades, family recipe book. You only get it if you marry into Do you the get family. little notes like, this is Bill's favorite? Yes, or okay. this is our favorite soup on Christmas Eve, or okay. this and that. So oh these, my gosh, how sweet is I, she? It's very sweet. Yeah. Um, and this, I think, is called Shirley's Caramel Bars. And okay. Shirley is from the middle of Montana, and this goes back to the 70s. So okay. my in-laws have been doing this and it's super easy and I guess boss man's mom makes a very similar yeah recipe. Ver a version so of it you yeah. might have heard of it okay yeah. so here's where you start you get um, German chocolate cake mix mm -hmm. put it in the bowl okay I can do that we've got um, a, th oh! a third of a cup of evaporated milk oh milk. not condensed milk do not confuse it I love evaporated milk evaporated milk yeah. then we've got half a cup of butter mm -hmm. and mix butter. that up Okay, I can do that. So we're gonna do layers here. So you mix it up mm -hmm. and it kind of gets really sticky and then you have to do a bottom layer on the pan. Um, now, okay. back in the 70s when this recipe started, there was more cake mix in the boxes in oh. the German chocolate cake. So we kind of run out when we try to make it now. So I always have an extra box of the cake mix and I put a little extra in. Oh, so that, those are one out. of your... Exactly. Okay. And then so maybe throw a little more butter in, a little more uh, okay, evaporated milk, just depending on... Okay, I see what you're saying. It's I not going to make a huge yeah. difference, but and of course we'll put the recipe on the By website. By the way, I noticed that you gave um, a batch to... Lincoln, Lincoln when he was in town. Uh, this, I, used to bring, I used to bring these to work all the time when I had energy. <laughs> I don't do it anymore because <laughs> I just can't. And, um, but Lincoln and he, got and some. Lincoln did get some, mm. and I've made them multiple times for Lincoln because he's obsessed. They're okay. really good. Okay, so now we're going to take, you take about half of this batter. Half of it. It's super sticky, and yeah. you press it down Let's into the bottom of a pan. Okay. Now, Boss Man has parchment paper here, which is brilliant because I've been struggling for 20 years just peeling it off the bottom of, of a pan, <laughs> right? So press okay. it out really thin all along the bottom. Okay, I think that's enough, right? Yeah. Okay. Wait so a second. I'll hold the parchment paper. I should have maybe put butter on my gloves or something. Yeah, this is, um, there you go. Of, okay. Yeah. Getting it close. doesn't look pretty, but um, we <laughs> promise. <laughs> it comes out really no. well. I don't think okay. I'm doing this right. So I'll let you work on that. Okay. Over here, I have you. melted a bag of craft caramels. Mm -hmm. Now they come in these little, they come in these little squares, and you have to unwrap them. But they do sell them in some stores for baking, okay. and you can just pour the whole bag in. So I just do a whole bag of the caramels and another third of a cup of evaporated milk and just put it in a saucepan over really low heat, but be super careful because this burns easily. Okay. So we're getting this ready and this this takes about 15 I, minutes. I have to say, I'm not doing this well and I'm not sure. No, you're fine, you're okay. fine. We'll just give people the general idea. Okay. okay, so once you get this bottom layer done, you put this in the oven. Okay. And you bake it for eight minutes. All right, let's throw it in the oven okay. as if we had done it. Yeah. Okay, so we're da da da. Okay, it's done. Eight oh, no, minutes I later. Think we, we have, oh, we, we have, have one. one. We have okay. one in there. You guys are so prepared. Nope, that's the okay. microwave. <laughs> okay, there we go. Oh, okay. a hot heating pad. Here we go. Here's a, a hot pad. Okay. Sorry, I've got chocolate all over me, so it's okay. I can't really. There we go. All right. So. Okay. There we go. So it's a little, it's a little hard, right? Okay. But I see that it's it's pretty it's yeah. thin. So this okay. is just baking the first layer. So now pour all these chocolate chips over the top. Yes. Okay, I can do that. And I will get the caramel ready. Perfect. That's perfect. Okay. And then oh. you just pour the caramel over the chocolate chips. Oh wow. Right? Yeah. And I, I actually like a little extra caramel. <laughs> it's so good. Uh -huh. I mean, like my husband prefers like light on the caramel, but oh. Not me. Okay. Okay. We're gotcha. not going to make this perfect. Now you take the second half of the batter. This is really hard. We'll do this together. Okay. And you have to kind of 
Like plop it on? Plop it on okay. and just make sure to spread it out. Okay. Oh, see this, the spreading out part, that's not. Yes. Okay. So that's what you do. You <laughs> spread it all over the place. You get chocolate everywhere. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then you bake all the layers for 15 minutes. Oh. And then it tastes like that. It looks like the, what, well, wait at, a second. We've got fingers. some. I know, mine too. We need the powdered sugar. Okay, I don't do this. You this don't do that? This is a special edition from Boss, Boss Man, Man, and I think it looks so gourmet and beautiful. Right? It does. It is so good. And mm -hmm. it, it looks so much more gourmet and tougher uh -huh. to make than it is. Well, I promise if you reason. bring these to a barbecue, mm -hmm. you will be a hit. Right? Everybody will want the recipe. Uh, there's a reason Lincoln insists on these. There yeah. is, yeah. and there's a reason Super. you have to get married to get the recipe in the Curtis family. Love it, love <laughs> it. We're gonna put the recipe on our website at k2.com. Angelica, as always, thank you so much. We'll be right back with more AM Northwest. Don't go away.